Today we will be randomly dropped into Google Street View's creepiest locations and we have to try and work out where we are. This Geogasm map was sent to me by Bunnicula. Alright, let's start the game and see where we end up. Oh, <laughs> oh man, this is weird. Right, this is creepy, isn't it? Look at that house. What is the story here? Where on earth is this? Look at that. It looks like a concentration camp or something over there. This looks like the kind of place which would be really nice to visit with like a group of people during the day. But if you were there by yourself- Oh, what is that? Oh my god, I think it's just- Jesus Christ. I think it's just a man taking a photo, but I shit myself. <laughs> Look at him there when you zoomed out. Okay, so we do need to work out whereabouts we are on the planet, which is going to be quite tricky. I mean, I'm assuming we're in America. It's got Wild West vibes to it, but I don't know. I could be completely wrong there. What a strange area this is. It looks abandoned, doesn't it? But it's in quite nice condition. I thought that was an axe on the floor, but it's just some wood. It's just some wood. Don't panic, Jack. There are five different locations to this, and uh, I think they might get creepier the longer that we play. So make sure you stick around. And if you want us to do more maps like this, then just please do consider subscribing. We have some people. Right, okay. Hello. They don't look that creepy, to be fair to them. Let's see if we can... Oh my god, they've completely vanished. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is weird, isn't it? Look, there's a church. There has been some demons summoned in there, hasn't there? Hundred percent. Maybe that's what happened. Nice wild west town. Everyone, you know, just happy as Larry. Playing their nice piano music in the saloons and stuff. But then some nutcase accidentally summons a demon in this bell tower and the whole town is abandoned. Is there bird poo on top of that as well? That's a shame, that. Look at that. That's never getting wiped off, is it? Look at that, though. Some stuff is in pretty nice condition, actually. Right, oh, we've got a police car over there. Oh my god, someone's been murdered around this corner, haven't they? I do want to see if I can get closer to the police car, though, because it should give me some clues on the location, but it looks like we're kind of heading the wrong way, unfortunately. I still think it's America, but I have very little knowledge of America. I don't know, what are we thinking? Texas, maybe somewhere? Look at that, there's a big bath as well. Look at that weird bath. Whoa, can we walk down this trail outside of the town? Oh, look at that old car. This is mad. Right, I don't know if I want to be heading over to the moors, to be honest. We've got a little bridge. Do we want to go to that scary-looking building? There's also... Oh, that's quite a nice building, actually. I like it. You know what? I'm going to return to the start because I think somewhere there was a sign but I didn't head to it. I'm trying to work out which way I went. Yeah, it was down this way. It was down this way, wasn't it? It looks like it maybe opens up a little bit more here. We might have some kind of clues. No, what I thought was a sign is not a sign at all and if anything, it's kind of getting creepier down here. Like, look at that building. That is weird. What is this place? What happened? This is the first bit of text that we've seen. It just says shell gasoline. You don't think there was like some kind of nuclear explosion here or something, do you? And everyone had to be abandoned, you know, something maybe kicked off over there. Either way though, it is in English. I do think it is probably America because that police car was pretty American as well. I don't think we're going to be able to find any more clues. I'm kind of struggling to walk places now. It's just moving me further backwards. Oh, we can look in this shop window. Ugh! Look at that. What's that? It's just a mannequin with a hat but look how old it is it does look abandoned doesn't it because there's stuff in this shop it says old gold cigarettes maybe oh look at that creepy thing in there <laughs> this is so cool you know what i might try and get over to the scary big gray buildings over there i don't know if we can or not but we can try oh, it looks like we can it looks like we can we can follow this path down there's a woman in a cowboy hat with a dog <laughs> i'm gonna go with texas my stereotype in there not quite sure look there she is there she is look how unreal that dog is <laughs> Here we go, here we go. This is the sign that I wanted. Don't know what it says yet. I'm hyped to find out. Can I not get closer to it? No. It says access to the... Don't know. Access to the standard mill area by something to her only. So basically, you can't get in there unless you're going with supervision because it's haunted, obviously, is what I assume. Look at these buildings. This is mad. Yeah, we're just going to go somewhere in Texas and I guess just like right in the middle of nowhere, like right there. We literally could be on the wrong continent here, but we'll find out. It was America, but apparently it was over in sort of California. Let's zoom in, see if we can get some clues on it. Body State Historic Park. Let's find out some history about it. Bodhi became a boom town in 1876 after the discovery of profitable line of gold and by 1879 it had a population of 5,000 to 7,000 but the town went into decline in subsequent decades and came to be described as a ghost town by 1915. So once they'd mined up all the gold there was no reason to be there anymore so it just became kind of abandoned. All right not a very good score still very interesting though I'm not so much bothered about my score I just want to see some spooky places to be honest. Oh now this is completely different where are we now? All right this is I don't know it's Italy, maybe, perhaps? Oh, look at him. What's he looking at? <laughs> I feel like everyone looks creepy on Google Street View. Oh my god, I'm inside, whatever we are. I don't like this at all. Oh, I'm moving through all the creepy rooms. I don't want to look behind that red curtain. What? 
Jesus. What's going on here? Oh, what are we looking at here? Oh my god, it's got spikes on the inside of it. It must have been some kind of punishment thing. People were like shoved in there. Didn't they have one of them in Matilda? <laughs> Look at that spiky chair. What is going on here? Blood curdling exhibition at Bran Castle. Medieval torture instruments. Are there any clues about the country there? www.brancastle.com. That doesn't give me many clues. Oh no. Entry fee is 10 LEI. I don't know what currency that is. LEI, lie. Unfortunately, I'm not sure where that is. So we're in a museum called Brancastle, which is full of torture equipment. Jesus Christ. This is absolutely awful. Look at it all. What a strange little place. I don't like it. I would like to get out of here. How do I leave? Ah, I've moved further in. Get me away from that thing. Oh, I want to get down there. I want to see that sign. Oh, are there any clues on these shields? Probably, but not ones that I'm smart enough to understand. <laughs> this is a nice room. No torture equipment in here. It's just nice cabinets and a lovely clock as well. Oh, here we go. Might have some clues here. Oh! Romania. Bedroom of King Ferdinand the First of Romania. That's good enough for me. Not keen on King Ferdinand's torture equipment, though. It does put me off him a little bit, won't lie. Oh, look, a bunch of stuff about Dracula. That's Transylvanian, isn't it? I have no idea where to go. I saw some hills out of a window, so I might just go, like, on the edge of one of these greeneries. It's called Bram Castle, so I guess we could have a quick look for the word Bram. Branistia and Branilla. I don't know. I might just go, like, up there. Oh, look at him. Nasty piece of work. Nasty piece of work. What do you think? Should we just guess there and move on? Yeah, let's go for it. That's a good guess. 62 miles away. Fortunately, we saw King Ferdinand I of Romania and that really helped us out there. So we were a little bit up here. There is a place called Bran, but it's just really small, so we don't see it. And there's the creepy Bran castle, which we shall stay away from. Let's play the next round. This is a really fun map. Oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ. What is going on here? I can't move anywhere. I'm trapped in here. Oh my god, I don't like it at all. Oh, you, Jesus, made me sh- <laughs> No offence, mate, no offence. I just, I wasn't expecting you to be looking at us, if I'm honest. All right, we can't go anywhere here. Oh, look, you can leave a tip if you if you really enjoyed it here. Well, that's lovely. It is a nice spot. Oh, my god. God, what is going on here? Don Julian, we see the word last there. I don't know, Mexico maybe is what I'm feeling. We will assume this is real hair that has been wrapped around here. Also on that note, in a previous video, I did say that Brazilians speak Spanish, which hundreds of you pointed out that I was an idiot there and they speak Portuguese. My mistake, I apologize. Right, this is probably the flag of the country that we're in, but unfortunately I don't recognize it. What's this about? Look how creepy all this is up here. Oh my God, I don't like that one. Did anyone see in the film creep. It makes me think of that wolf. Good God, look at that little head by itself. That bald head plunked on the window. How interesting though. I wonder what the purpose of this was. I sometimes feel perhaps it's just something that will make tourists visit rather than just worshipping the devil. Just something a bit interesting to talk about. But even so, look at that one. That is awful. And look at that clown behind. Some of the dolls are naked as well. She's got no legs. Looks like she's covered in blood. This is horrific. I think I'm going to guess Brazil. I might be completely wrong there. I don't know where to go in Brazil. It looks very tropical though, so I might just go quite deep into the green. And we might be somewhere close. I apologize for not knowing that flag. I definitely need to learn my flags. All right, let's just guess. Uh, it was Mexico. I said Mexico originally, and it's actually pretty close to Mexico City. Dreadful score from me there. I can only apologize. I will remember that that's what the Mexico flag looks like. Let's play the next round. Okay, doesn't look too creepy off the bat and I don't recognize the building but it, it kind of looks like it might have been a slave owner's house. If you've seen the film Django it just kind of reminds me of the house there so I wonder if perhaps that's what the creepiness about this place is. Looks like we're gonna have to have a bit of an explore and see if we can work out what's scary about this. Obviously it's America because there's about 500 American flags. What is this place? Why is it on this map? It's a nice spot isn't it? You know what I mean? What is this? We're, whoa, I don't know where I've ended up. Right, they've got restaurants and stuff. It's just a nice area. What's creepy about it? That makes it more creepy. I mean, look at that waterfall. I like it a lot. Let's head to the car park and see if we can leave. <laughs> I don't like it here. Oh god, oh my god, it's pushing me back in. Oh no, can I not get to the car park? I'm at the car park. I want to get over there. For this one, we might just have to guess and then we'll find out what's creepy about it afterwards because we can Google it like we did with the first one. Oh, we've got an exit. Let me out. Go on. We're free. Oh, I'm back at the start again. Yeah, I've no idea where we are. It's a nice spot though. So I think I might go near Los Angeles. Death 
Valley National Park. That sounds scary. Yeah, we'll go there. And uh, let's just guess. It was Denver, apparently, which is in Colorado. Not a great score, but once again, we're not really that bothered about that. What we want to see is why is it creepy? It, oh, there's a Tesla supercharger. It's the hotel where The Shining was filmed, I'm going to guess. Stanley Hotel. So, yeah, not just the film. It's the inspiration for where the book was based as well. So you can understand why that'd be a bit creepy, but also a nice spot. And there's got a Tesla supercharger there as well. I'm disappointed that we didn't recognize that one. I went straight to the ex-slave owner building, but it does look like the place in Django, you've got to admit. All right, we'll play the next round. This is the final. Oh my... Jesus Christ. My art went like that. It just moved down a bit for a second. Oh, it keeps coming. <laughs> I don't want to look around. Oh, there's something over here. What's this? Oh my god, why are they all looking at us? Oh, there's more of them. Of course there is. What's he looking at? Oh, what I don't like is that. What on? Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, Jesus Christ. Is it a film set or is it a legitimate graveyard that we're at right now? Oh my god, it continues. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at that one. What? on earth. Oh, look at behind this guy. There's a bunch of candles placed in a circle in the center of the graveyard. We got a satanic ritual going on. This is cool though, isn't it? They've really gone for it and you've got to respect that. I don't like how I can't go anywhere without them all staring at me though. <laughs> Juby shove bergeron i don't even know if we're in an english-speaking country to be honest bergeron that sounds german or something doesn't it i've no idea where to go i'm feeling america though this seems like the kind of funny thing that mental americans would do <laughs> and maybe near los angeles again just because if you're going to dress up as a zombie perhaps you want a career in the film industry let's go up in nevada again like just right there actually no i want to go somewhere a little bit more central let's just go for it okay so it was america but we were in louisiana which is a very long way away let's have a zoom in then what were we on it doesn't even bring up anything on the map it's just a square bloody hell all right well in the end we ended up with a dreadful eight thousand points but we were successfully freaked out, and I hope that you got slightly freaked out as well. If you want to see me play more creepy maps like that, please let me know in the comments. And if you want to make a map and send me it, then send us the URL on Twitter with the hashtag GeoGuessRJack. Thanks for watching, subscribe for bi-weekly GeoGuessr content, and I will see you later. Good God, look at that little head by itself, that bald head plunked on the window.